Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another quick review. And today we're taking a look at from the Super 7 line. This is Reaction Unicron. Now, for those of you who may not know the story, obviously the re this version of Unicron is not based on its movie animation design, which a lot of the Reaction line uh, comes from, but this is actually based on the prototype toy of Unicron that was going to be released in celebration of the original 1986 movie. Um, that, as far as I know, only like three versions of the prototype exist. Two are in possession by Hasbro. One, I think, is in the possession of a private collector. It, at the time, was going to be the largest Transformer released, but the, the plans were scrapped. I think there were some uh, kinks they couldn't work out of the design. And also, I believe that because originally the Transformers, the movie, didn't do well, they figured there would be no interest. I, if I remember correctly, there was going to be lights and sounds, including uh, Orson Welles' voice, which really would have been cool. Um, but here it is here. This is really the only way you can get this version of Unicron on the home market. And this is actually how it was going to look. Um, this was the shade of yellow and bluish green that they were going to use. Uh, again, working off of early designs, probably. Um, this was originally a $25 figure, but uh, Amazon, and last time I checked, it's still going on. They're actually having a sale on the reaction figures they have in stock. So I was able to pick this figure up for $17, while some of the other ones are actually going for as cheap as $12. Like Rekgar, Cyclonus is going for like $15 or something like that. So if you've been on the fence, because you know, I understand the, the reaction line is a very niche line, uh, you're basically paying for the design, and that's about it. It's a very minimally articulated figure, and with Unicron here, the articulation is such, yeah, he can dab, and that's about it. Uh, <laughs> I really kind of wish that the arms were actually that limited, because I might have waited for a little something below 17. The legs can move forward and back, but that's about it, and the head can rotate. So you do get some, you know, useful articulation in terms of expression and posing, but... This is not a fully articulated figure, which is not the Super 7 style. Also, if you were to see the back of the packaging that featured the cross-sell of Unicron, you would see that it was holding a hand weapon. Well, initially, this was supposed to come with the laser rifle that would have been formed from the on the original toy. It was going to come with a stand, and that stand turned into a laser rifle. So that's what they would have included. But because Super 7 is known to squeeze every penny, uh, they decided to not include it. And seeing as how the arms move, I think that's a pretty good idea because you can't even get a decent po uh, articulated, um, you know, po pointing the gun type of pose. Um, in terms of the details, from what I've seen of that prototype, this is very accurate to the figure. and. That is uh, obviously with some uh, cleaning up here on the legs. It, you know, it's like, I would say this is like the toy if it had appeared in the movie, if that makes sense. And we're being joined by Delilah. Hello, Delilah. But, uh, it, and I should stress to you guys, if you really want, uh, a few people online have not only shared photos of the prototype, somebody was brave enough to share a transformation schematic like they were able to transform one of the prototypes to show you how it goes and it's actually quite interesting how it was going to work out um there were no rings or, or like the arms became the rings or something like that so there was not didn't have that like uh pointy cape and stuff so and keep in mind that you there was also the negoti negotiating of all the wires for the lights and sound. Uh, that was going to be something. So, and it is cool. I mean, um, 
I, I was always going to want to get this just for the novelty and the history of finally having a re home representation of that rare, you know, that prototype, what could have been. Uh, you know, let's not forget this was the first prototype. There was going to be a there was a prototype for Unicron in Beast Wars the second or Beast Wars Neo. That never happened. That was only going to be a Jap Japanese thing. It wasn't until like the early 2000s in Armada that we finally got a Unicron toy. I mean, that was like 15 years or something. Um, so, yeah. And, and, you know, let's also take a moment. Uh, we're three years away, almost two, from the 40th anniversary of Transformers the film. The, the Transformers the movie. So, yeah. Um, like I, I mean, there's nothing really more I can say. I mean, you know, obviously most of you know what you're getting with these reaction figures. Uh, like I said, I think I would have been happier if I could have gotten this for 15 or less, especially now knowing how the arms move. But overall, I am happy to have it, and I might go back and try to snag some of the some more of those uh reaction figures it looks like it's everything from the wave that was dedicated to transformers the movie is on sale so there's that and that's and that's really at amazon.com i haven't seen transformers reaction figures at ollie's or ross when people are doing their shopping videos i've seen the gi joe i've seen the ones for like the other lines like teenage mutant ninja turtles maybe they'll show up but from what I understand, right now, Ollie's, Ross, all those uh, closeout stores have gotten their stock of toys for the holiday season. So what's ever there now, that's it. So, uh, you know, if you're, if you're not seeing them now, you probably won't see them until next year if they're getting them at all. So, yeah. Hopefully, I've helped you make a little bit of decision if you were on the fence about this. I mean, really, the way you're seeing the figure right now, that's how it's going to be displayed. If I don't put it back in the packaging just to, you know, keep it free from dust. But that's the best pose you're going to do. Maybe something like this, like here. You know, Unicron's pulling up on the side of you and being like, what's up? You know, the other thing is, and my mom told me I was wrong, but this kind of reminds me the face of how my dad looked in the mid eighties. Like he kind of had like a bullet thing going on. He, you know, his mid eighties dad, you know, he has it. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but that's about it for the review. If you like this review, like comment and subscribe. I always appreciate the views, but your likes, comments, and subscriptions do help with the algorithms. Uh, and, you know, promoting the channel, which is something really important. Uh, I do have a Patreon. It's www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. All I ask for is a dollar a month, $12 a year. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. You know the spiel. But as I always say, uh, if you can't swing the dollar a month or $12 a year, your views are more than thanks enough. Patreon is just a cherry on top of an already generous Sunday. Um, so yeah, once again, this is your old pal Chuck for G1 Unicron. We will see you next time.